Great deal. Good. Very good. Now, what happens if we can't find the skull? As they say at NASA, failure, it's not, it's an, not option. an option. Love the position that they're in here. Love it. I mean, obviously they'll find it because it is Sam and Dean Winchester, but still. This way, please. It's an oldie, but a goodie. Seems to have done the trick. Now you've just got to find a skull. Easy peasy. Really, Dean, you can feel it. <laughs> I mean, it's a clue. Oh! I thought he was going to help. I didn't realise he was going to be a hindrance. I should have probably known. Nothing ever helps when it comes to the Winchesters. Ugh. Sam? Sammy? I wonder how many times the boys have been knocked out, like unconscious. Should we not drowsy? How many fingers am I holding down? I'm fine. Okay, I'm just saying, you're taking a lot of shots at the head lately. I mean, I know that Disney princess hair gives you some padding, but... Uh... Disney princess hair. Oh, well. I mean, I hate to say it, but that's what you get. Where is it? The piece of paper you took off me, where is it? I don't... He took it. He... He who? The other man, I, I, I don't know, I didn't see his face. Who are you? My name... My name is Luca Camilleri. Luca. Uh, <clears throat> Father Luca Camilleri. You're a priest? See. Si. Why are you here? I'm searching for something. Is he working for, is he working for the Malta Monastery? I'm in my parish eight days ago. They yeah. asked me to get it back. Really? So, what, you just thought you'd uh, come here and steal it back? No, I was gonna buy it. Thieves only understand one thing, money, so I, I, I brought money. I assumed that the skull was in the case, not one And I failed, and this never should have happened. Now, well, the world's a screwed up place, Padre. What are you gonna do about it? Change it. Yeah, good luck with that. It's not about Naxon. It's about effort. All the time I hear people saying the world's not perfect. And they're right, it's not. But do you use that as an excuse? Do you oh, use do you it to excuse to? your own sins? Your failings and your laziness? Do you use it to give a bad man power because the world's not perfect? Or do you work? Do you try and improve things in whatever way you can? I mean, that's literally the boy's motto, really, isn't it? That's all they really do. They just don't realize it. When men do good things, it can be better. Every day can get better. I feel like this will be good for Sam to hear because he's obviously had his doubts lately. And Dean, for that matter, actually. Just want to go home. Without the skull? Yes. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what if we get the skull back for you? Oh, we're going to double cross the, the mob guy. I mean, if somebody, uh, if somebody stole the Impala, what would you do? Murder. I'd murder them all. No hesitation whatsoever. Sounds like, uh, okay. <laughs> then we torture first. It'd be like a lot of torture, and then there it would end up with death. If I can't have it, nobody can. Were you even listening to what I was saying, Scarpati and Green Tree? Look at his face. <sighs> I love him. I love them. They're just the best. Mr. Scarpati, thank you so much for coming. What can I say? When somebody's screwing me, I like to look into their eye. No one's screwing. Really? If it wasn't for me, that wouldn't even be here. All right? I'd already made a deal. With a dead man. Well, he wasn't dead at the time. So I, uh, I suppose you don't plan on um, honoring his price. Oh. <gasps> so what if I say no? Oh, if you won't pay, he will. Who's he? Oh, no, it was the British guy. You know the deal's crap when we start drawing flies. If that's what you think, there is the door. Yeah, well, bad chance. <laughs> Why do they all want this so much, anyway? To pray to? To honour? To what? I... God will see us through. Yeah, he really will. You're not a believer. Oh, I believe. Oh, he's met God, my friend. God, he didn't give a damn about you. 
or me, or anyone else. So if you're expecting some sort of a, a miracle to happen, well, <laughs> good luck. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that God would reach down and protect us. Of course, that's not going to happen. But I believe that all good things are God things. And what your brother's doing, it's a good thing. You know, or a stupid thing. <laughs> or both. Many times they can be the same. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Just take it easy. I know where I'm going. Just... Just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy. Easy. I'm not here to fight. Then why are you here? <clears throat> May I? I'm here to buy. So, let's make a deal. Okay. That's all. He's in. It's just business. Let's go. The music in this episode is throwing me off. I'm sorry. I thought you were working for me. And I thought you were working for me. Right, yeah. Turns out I'm working for me. I don't trust him. Oh, well, I don't know. I'm quite fond of Sam. And besides, money's money. Hmm. Hmm? Pardon me. The hell are you doing here? Creating a distraction. Creating a distraction? <laughs> Lying, it's a scene. <laughs> All right, I want to make this simple. I want each of you to think of your price, your very best price, and write it down on a piece of paper. Does he? He doesn't even know how much is in that briefcase, does he? All right, that's all of them. What now? You stay here and you stay down. I'll say a prayer. Yeah, you do that. Sam, just put your number on there, and knickers will come right off, and you'll have the skull in your hands. If you would. From Lurch over here, 634,002 cents. <laughs> Two cents. From the boss, three million. Oh, dear. Well, <laughs> Whoops. You tried. That's the most important part. Really? <laughs> and from Fats over there, nothing. What? Nothing. Is this a joke to you? Oh, no. I intend to buy the skull. Just not from you. Kill her. Whoa, 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 Hand whoa, whoa, me the whoa, relic easy. and I will pay you a million dollars cash right now. Mr. Cromarty has been working for me for years and I can assure you... <laughs> Probably should have treated your employees better. Whoa! Yeah. Kind of feels like blasphemy listening to all of this prayer, religious music, and then just gunfire and man made tragedies. You most definitely did get shot, lad. Ooh. Thank you. So I could just grace you. Oh, More okay. Just left and, uh, Jeez. It's a miracle. Thank the sweet lord. Thank you, Chuck. <laughs> I'll give you anything you want. Huh? Oh, no. It's a no from Where me. Where is it? It, uh, it doesn't exist. Do you know, I freaking knew that. When he made the name, it's like he just literally paused to think of a name, made it up on the spot. So this whole episode, for nothing. They're no closer to any of the re the ingredients. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? I am, grazie mille. Thank you for everything. Hey, by the way, I, I, I was reading about you. Um, what, what is uh, apostolic proto-notary supernumerary? A what now? Uh. Huh? It, it doesn't mean anything, it's just a title the Pope gives for good works. The Pope gave that to you? You met the Pope? Yeah. 
He called me un uomo santissimo. Well, what does that mean? A most holy man. Oh my God, it wasn't for nothing. They get the blood from the most holy man. They got it! Well, one down, you know, there we go. I love a happy plot twist. I was gonna get so annoyed as well, because I thought, like, all oh, this episode is gonna be for nothing. Like that time they was looking for the, the spell and it burnt and they blew on it. You ever feel like we're, we're, we're doing nothing but playing defense? You know, bouncing from one apocalypse to the next? That's not exactly our call. I know that, and I, I'm not saying we don't, do good, but but no matter how many people we save, there will always be more people that need saving. No matter how many monsters we kill, there's always gonna be another one around the corner. Exactly. But what what what's your well, point? You think we could ever change things? I mean. Oh okay. He's hoping really that he can change, change the future. Things, stop all the monsters, all the bad. If anyone can do it, it's you, pair. That would be nice. <gasps> yeah. Oh my God, don't cry. So what are you thinking? Think that'll work? I do think it'll work if you get all the ingredients, I do. I have faith. This makes me so happy. <laughs> and you have each other, lads. You got this, you've got this, Sam. Come on now. Ah. Oh. I enjoyed that, guys. I enjoyed that a lot. So yet again, another episode down. Um, I think with this one, at the very end there, when he, he said about the blood of the most holy man uh, being fictitious and then he made it up from the beginning, there was just that annoying feeling straight away where I was just like, oh, it literally makes the whole episode pointless. But then obviously that twist with was it Luca when he was the most holy man? <laughs> it was like, oh, thank the sweet heavens above that it wasn't all for nothing. We got at least the blood. That's one ingredient down. Just another 25 million to go, right? <laughs> I mean, there may as well be that many because the things that they have to get are just so ridiculous. But having said that, they managed one of them. So I'm sure they'll manage the others somehow, some way. I did think that Castiel, would be around a little bit more because he's the one that gave them the list of things that they need. So yeah, I thought he'd have a bit more input. So it was sad that we didn't really see him this one. I mean, the boys held their own like they always do. And Dean putting up that sort of fight against the mobs and Sam just being like, Dean, please. <laughs> it just makes me nervous because it's like, he has to deal with that much crap and that many bad and evil people in the world that when it comes to humans doing that, he's just got no time for it. And I, I can't say I blame him. I can't say I blame him, but I'm more with Sam where I'm like, just choose your moments, you know? They do all have guns <laughs> and you are not immortal, sadly. Plus with Billy saying that she had like a list of all the ways that Dean dies. And I would love to just take a peek at that list, you know? I mean, if getting killed by a mob boss wasn't one of them, <laughs> we, we can all calm down. That'd be the first thing I'd probably ask, you know, if I was Dean, I'd like, can I just take a peek at those lists that you have in there? <laughs> just so you can prepare. But yeah, I guess that you can't really know that because it'll, it'll have a detrimental effect on the future, I'd imagine, if you knew the information beforehand. I mean, that's how I view it. I don't know if the show views it that way. When they said about the blood of the most holy man, I did think of a priest, but then when Sam said sane, I thought they're, they're going even higher. And then I thought maybe Chuck. I'm still surprised that we haven't seen him again. He does keep getting brought up, which I kind of love, especially when someone's trying to convince the boys of like religious beliefs. And it's literally like, dude, they've met him. <laughs> it's just funny seeing, seeing humans so unaware of what the boys have actually faced and gone through in this show. It's just, yeah, I love it. I do love it. It's like inside jokes amongst them and in the supernatural world. I am kind of surprised we didn't see from Rowena or hear from Ro Rowena again, just because last we saw of her, she was like, all powerful, like soaking in that power and 
I just thought that she'd become like forced to be reckoned with and either causing utter mayhem for him or trying to force their hands a little bit to get the ball rolling just so she can end Lucifer. Because what's worrying me at this point is we know that Sister Jo is feeding Lucifer her grace, like a tap whenever she feels uh, he's ready for it or whatever. And then he's got the grace of all the angels now because he's like blagged them that way. So he's just gaining more and more power while we're here on earth chasing a bloody skull around so that we can get holy blood and it's just uh, i don't know i just it's, i'm nervous guys he's getting stronger and stronger and the boys aren't getting any stronger i mean can they get stronger than what they are i don't know do you know what i was wondering as well like obviously sam got addicted to demon blood and he was like stupidly powerful when he was going through that whole like cleanse thing, uh, which he didn't end up going through it, you know, with the trials, he didn't end up going through that. If he was to drink demon blood now, like what would happen? Are his powers still there at all? Like I, you know, I got questions. Like he was stupidly powerful. He, I mean, don't get me wrong, right, the, the demon blood messed him up and stuff, but the gifts were there following the whole yellow eyes fiasco so it just would be nice if if we could maybe return that and get a hold of it a little bit more you know it's kind of late on in the show now so I, i'm kind of getting the vibe that that was it it ended at the trials well it ended before that but you know what i mean anywho i digress as i always do in these breakdowns i apologize so with this one the, the whole mobs and stuff were just, I don't know, they were all right. I wasn't like sold on them or whatever. What really like hooked me more than anything is the whole uh, discussion and back and forth with uh, religion, beliefs and faith, you know what I mean? And when Sam spoke to Dean at the end there and Dean said, you know, I've got faith that we can, we can get this right. And I, I said it in the reaction, but I do truly believe that if anyone can help to change the future, it would be our boys, you know, because they've done so much already. They don't give themselves enough credit. They really don't. They, they typically end up focusing on the negative and I can't say that I blame them after everything that they've been through because they very rarely get the wins, do they? We want them to have the wins. They very rarely get them. And when they do get the wins, it's kind of overshadowed by another catastrophe at the end of it, which is just sad times. So the fact that they're continuing to, to fight after all they've been through is just an absolute credit to them, you know? I'm gonna watch the next one as well because I can't wait to see what that one has. And I'm hoping, hoping, hoping we get some cast, we get some Rowena. Hopefully we get Jack back as well. Like, I kinda miss him. I do. I miss the guy. So thank you all for watching my reaction as usual. I'm feeling a little bit more awake. I am going to make another coffee before starting the next one because I feel like I need it. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you did, please give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you would like to. But as always, there's no pressure here. Please remember I have done cut versions of these over on Patreon and I have a bunch of other shows there as well. I have more on Patreon than I do on YouTube. So head on over there if you're interested. And yes, I do live streams as well, guys. Every Friday and Saturday over on Twitch so please join us there because the community honestly is just amazing and my last live stream I pulled the Charizard VMAX from Shining Fates and I lost my mind so thank you to all that were there during that stream and if you didn't make it please head over to my second channel where the video will be up there as well for you to enjoy so yeah head on over there as well and I hope to see you all again soon for the next video cheers watch you guys Bye.